Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, I'm quite often giving you jobs that you haven't done before and I'll show you how to do them and so on. Well, this is a new job for me. I haven't done it before. And as a general rule, I leave this sort of thing well alone because I'm pretty cack handed when it comes to certain things. And one of them is paint. Yeah, but I can't ignore this one. I mean, the car's getting to a point now where it could probably do with paint rectification all over the place, sort of sunroof and arches and stuff like that. But I mean, as a general rule, it's looking fine. Well, apart from this bit here, yeah, this wing has obviously been re-sprayed before I bought the car and not re-sprayed very well either. In fact, it's quite dull up here compared to the mirror-like finish here. This is quite dull. Um, but the worst thing about it is, it's at the front here, it's sort of gone lumpy, lumpy and white, yeah. I'm not quite sure if that's the clear coat failing or something from further down. But anyway, my plan is not to try and respray a whole wing because oh, I'll just make an awful mess of it. Well, I think I've got to the point where I wish I hadn't started, to be honest. It's a weird old colour and it just rough. It's like sandpaper, it really is. Right, well, I've spent the last week watching millions of YouTube videos on how to respray panels. And I've seen so many different results and using so many different techniques. But the best I could find is from a YouTube channel called Paint Society. They seem to know exactly what they're doing. But of course, everything there is done under controlled conditions. And of course, I'm outside in November, middle of November. It's about 12 degrees centigrade. Yeah, the leaves are coming off the trees. Yeah, I'm not even sure if the paint's going to dry on it, let alone dry to a mirror finish, or at least go to a finish that at least I can polish it in. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm going to set up a few bits like um, an infrared light and so on to keep the panel warm. And I'm just going to give it a go. I mean, it just looks horrible here and I need to do something about it. Now, one of my other heroes is uh, Derek from Vice Grip Garage. You know, he re-sprays things. And he would just say, well, you just need to go pss, 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 across that bit and then sort of blend it in. But looking at this panel, this whole panel, this wing has obviously been repainted at some point. And it doesn't look right all over. It's obviously the clear coat's gone here and it's just gone a bit weird on top of the wing. It's not great down here either. I think what I'll do is I'll bring you in so we can have a look at what the paint looks like to start with. And I've undenied about what I'm going to do and I think I'm going to paint most of the wing um, down to about the indicator light so I'm going to have to get the V8 badge off. But anyway, it would be interesting to have a look at the paint compared to, say, the paint on the bonnet or the paint on the door, uh, because there's quite a big difference. Right, I'm going to bring you in. Righty-ho, let's start by having a look at the paint that's the problem. There we go. There you can see the clear coat has just failed. Now, I've sanded that down in the past to see if it comes away but it doesn't stays like that gonna need a lot of sanding now the rest of that bit there doesn't look too bad but a close look at that shows that the reflection isn't that sharp now I've cleaned this panel um, and put Zeno 5 on it and that usually gives a really bright shine I did a bit of the bonnet as well and you can see how much better the reflections are they're very pin sharp whereas this is all rather dull and horrible and that dullness goes all the way along the top of the wing so you can see the big difference between the trees there and here so it's very dull there so the top of the wing is a goner gets better as we go along but it's still not great and then you compare it to there we go the top of the door and that's got proper reflections in it.
Right, well here we go then. Polythene's all on, all masks, masked off. Yeah, a bit of a palaver. The uh, polythene that I bought was much narrower than it actually said uh, when I bought it from Amazon. So I ended up with doing uh, using eight bits of it. Yes, that's really ridiculous. But anyway, it's all taped up now. There we go, that's off. Righty ho, well, I've put a gazebo up because it's drizzling, as you'd expect. November in England. Right, first thing we'll do is going to clean it, and we're going to clean it with washing up liquid or washing soap or whatever it's called in the USA. Um, I normally wouldn't have uh, washing up liquid anywhere near the panels because it uh, removes waxes and everything, so the water's very hot. I need to remove where that V8 badge was as well, so I'm probably going to need a solvent for that. I'll try some alcohol to start with. There we go, that'll do for that. Uh, next thing is we're going to do this area in particular is going to be done with 600 grade paper. We need to get that down past the clear coat, because it's the clear coat that's failing. Right. I've done is I've sanded it all down with uh, P600 um, especially in this area and this area has obviously got filler in it's obviously had some front-end damage at some point that's the filler on it just about see in one place the pearl base coat uh, because that's what the base coat for Mora metallic is and it's a sort of orangey creamy sort of color so I just about see it there. Anyway, it's all been cleaned, uh, it's been sanded down with 600. Then I did the whole thing with 1000 and the whole thing with 1500. Uh, washed it down and I've made sure there's no places anywhere left which um, is shiny. So everything's dull now. So that's really ready for, well, I was trying to decide what to do, whether to go with primer, or to go with the base coat but I think now we've got the sort of repair here and the base and the actual bottom coat um, then I'll need a primer on it um, so I've got a filler primer and what that does is it not only primes the surface ready for the body coloured paint but also fills in any imperfections with 1500 grit I think we probably w w could just use the um, body colour but because we've got this glaring white bit here then because all paints are slightly translucent I think we'd see a colour change at the front here so my plan is to do a light coat of um, primer on the whole panel um, it's about 17 no, about 13.7 degrees centigrade here at the moment, so it's quite cold. I've got a fan heater, so I've warmed up the tent as much as possible. Um, yeah, so it's onto the onto the uh, primer next, and you're meant to use a tack cloth, so that's what I'm going to do next. Even though there's absolutely nothing on it at all, I uh, could see absolutely nothing at all. I'm going to use a tack cloth next. Yeah, they're very slightly sticky. So what they do is they pull off any lint that's on the surface. There we go. 
about getting the lint off. It's got to get slightly sticky, um, just sticky enough so that it will lift any lint and specks of dust on it, but uh, not sticky enough to transfer its stickiness to the panel. Right, what I'll do next is I'll have a quick look round. I won't touch the panels, um, they've been uh, sanded down and washed down. Righty hey, well that's one coat done. Looks rather uneven, doesn't it? I'm not sure if I need it to be a bit further away. Just looks stripy. So I've got to wait a quarter of an hour for that to dry, and to assist that, I've got an air mover there, and it uh, blows filtered air. It's got lots of filters in the back, so a HEPA filter device, just to put a bit of air over the panel. And uh, hopefully the next uh, coat will look a bit better. Well, I think I've got to the point where I wish I hadn't started, to be honest. It's a weird old colour. And it just rough. It's like sandpaper, it really is. So I'm going to have to sand this down now. It's been 20 minutes since I put it on. It's dry as a bone. So yeah, wet sanding again, I think, is the plan. So yeah, I'm going to start with... Uh, Second hand thousand grit. I think that's a good place to start. So I do the same as before, get a cloth, wrap it up. It gives a bit more of a malleable surface of which to sand. Right, yeah, a bit of water. Let's see what it does to it. Probably takes it all off again. No, my luck. Well, it goes very yellow very quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, that's nice and smooth. You can feel there's gritty bits here and there. That's the problem. It's going to be the problem is getting all the gritty bits out. Okay, so I'm not quite as despondent as I was. Um, the primer's obviously onto the base, uh, the body colour. It just needs to be sanded down and washed down a few times, I think. Yeah, you can hear it sort of rustling along there. I think my problem's going to be uh, sanding it enough uh, without removing it all. I think that could be my problem. But a thousand grit's good. A thousand grit means I can uh, apply the body colour uh, straight onto this. Um, yeah, I seem to be getting rid all, of all of it there. Uh, smooth there. I can hear it when you get to it, that's for sure. Now, the reason I put newspaper there was something that I saw on one of the YouTube channels, is that uh, once you start putting coloured paints on, it doesn't stick to the polythene sheeting and you just blow your spray around and it just blows the stuff everywhere. So that's why it's there. It just stops any of the paint that I put on coming back onto the paintwork again. That's the plan anyway. Right, here we go then. Body coloured paint. Yeah. 
I'm not sure how this is going, and I'm a bit disappointed, <laughs> despondent about it all, to be honest. But yeah, it'd be nice if it came back the right colour. I've got a, got a funny feeling I'm going to be going up the garage and getting them to respray it, but here we go. I think my problem is that I'm just, just going too fast. I wasn't giving it a chance to actually stick on. So that seemed to work a lot better at a slower speed. Very orange peely though, that's the only problem. Right, just do a little bit there and that's it for the first coat. Right, let's have a look how we've got on. So that's three coats of Mora Metallic. It looks fine, yeah, it's covered well. So I'm a lot happier about things now. Yeah, I think the car's survived any overspray. Um, I think where I went wrong with the primer is just, I was just moving much too fast. That's where I went wrong. And I started moving much too fast with the Mora Metallic. And yeah, that wasn't going on properly at all. But uh, once I slowed down, yeah, that was fine. So I've got good coverage everywhere that I can see. Yeah, it all looks fine. So, next stage, either a light sanding, uh, probably with 2000 grit or something, because it's, it's got a slight bit of orange peel on it. It's not bad, but that might well be covered by the clear coat. So I've got a 2K clear coat, that's a two-part one. And that might do the job, I'm not sure. But no, I'm quite happy with that, that's done well. Yeah, after the disaster with the primer, yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. Right, tacky cloth first, I've got my 2K clear coat. So I've dried, this has been drying for an hour. Third coat of Mora Metallic. Doesn't look bad at all. Looks very nice. Let's get it a bit of tacky stuff. Yeah, this is the bit we're gonna to have to get right. Too fast still. Still going too fast and slow down to take it easy. But I mean that doesn't look too bad at all, not from a spray can. And yeah, it's got rid of that horrible bit at the front there, so that I'm pleased with that. Yep, yeah, so I've got one bit here which is a bit dodgy. I might spray that now actually because that's been on long enough. Yeah, I'll do that now. Yeah, that bit of film ended quite abruptly because I ran out of storage space. And where we'd got to is that I had one um, layer of clear coat on it, but I noticed a bit down here wasn't done. And so, so I gave it a quick spray and I just sort of kept going. And that was a mistake uh, because I ran out of the clear coat 
and when you get to the end of an aerosol it just sort of splatters a bit and that's what it's done so up this end it's lovely and shiny got good reflections on it bit of orange peel which it, that's no problem at all I'll be uh, wet sanding this today uh, but this end it's gone all sort of speckly and horrible it's smooth but the finish is terrible and to co compound the problems overnight it got really windy and it just blew everything over so all the paper here um, flopped over the wing and just everything was covered with leaves again hasn't done the clear coat any harm at all and all I used was a tacky cloth to get all the sort of bits of grit off of it and it's it's very smooth I'll give you that yeah it's very nice anyway yeah that bit is fine this bit's speckly and there's a sort of a there's a run there as well um, so yeah I was putting it on too heavy and there's a slight run there so my plan today is to wet sand it and um, what I think I'd do is I'll probably start with 1500 grit and see how that comes on and see if I can get rid of these sort of slightly drippy places um, yeah so we'll see how it goes what we've got 3000 yes yeah, that'll <laughs> take me a month for Sundays to cut anything with that that's for sure righty ho let's see what happens always exciting Right, I think that'll do for now. As I say, the, having a wet panel gives you a good indication what it's going to look like when the clear coat's on. Yeah, and that reflection's fine. That's, that's good. So yeah, that's now ready for the final clear coat on it. I'm going to cut it down enough. Yeah, and two drips, there was one here, that's gone. And there's one along here somewhere, and that's gone as well. So that's good. So yeah, that looks fine. That's ready for the last clear coat. Won't be here till Wednesday. And of course, that'd be at night as well. And yeah, it's got a lot colder today. Anyway, quite happy with what I've done so far.
Well, I think we've got to the point where yeah, I've run out of something yet. Yeah, I've run out of skill yet. Yeah, just don't have the skills to do a proper respray, respray or the knowledge, I'm afraid. Yeah, this isn't setting. It's just, <laughs> just tacky all the time. Uh, one of the worst things is, I mean, it's a bit orangey peely and I could probably flatten that with uh, machine polishing. But if, where I nicked through to the base coat, it's very noticeable. It doesn't matter how much clear coat you put on it, it's still there. So to do this properly, I'm going to have to clear all the clear coat off again, or at least um, key it, and then respray it with more metallic, the base coat, and then re-lacquer it. And I'm not really sure what's gone wrong, why this isn't flattening. Yeah, it's all orangey peely and horrible, but at least it looks better than the sort of matte finish I've been driving around with it with for a while. Right, well there we go then, yeah, it's all looking nice and shiny again. And would I do it again? Nah, that chance of that. Yeah, it looks like I've managed to almost make it and then just completely make a pig's ear of it right at the last minute, over the three times I attempted it. Now the first go was fine, I flattened it, primer, flattened the primer, body colour on it. Perfect, that was great, that went really well. First coat of lacquer, perfect. Apart from a tiny bit there, I mean, it was completely flat. It was really well, had great reflections in it. And then I tried to do the next coat and it ran out, I'm afraid, by about this point here. And of course, as the can runs out, it splatters everywhere. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd start again. Of course, knowing what I know now, what I could have done is just flattened it with paper, machine polished it, and that would have been great. Um, but no, I decided to start again. <laughs> flat sand it again, wet sand it again, and uh, try another coat of clear coat. And uh, well, my technique just wasn't right, and I noticed it looking back at the videos. Um, what I was doing is doing it from there to there, and then doing it from there to there. And of course you end up with runs in the middle. It's obvious when you think about it. So that all went wrong, and I tried to wipe it off with some solvent. And of course it only half came off and it just went all wrong. <coughs> okay, third attempt, uh, flattening it all again with paper. And then the big mistake there was using the same 2K clear coat that I'd been using four days previously and it had already started to harden. And so it just wouldn't flatten. And that's where I got to uh, the end of the last part of the video was that it wasn't flat. I was completely fed up with it. Uh, but since then I've uh, wet sanded it 1,000 and 3,000 and uh, then machine polished it with uh, 3M's Ultrafina. And I'm reasonably okay machine polishing things so it doesn't look too bad at all. But it's just not worth it really, and especially in this weather. It's now 2 degrees centigrade and about 20 mile an hour wind. It's absolutely freezing. And now I've got to clean the whole car again because it's covered with ultrafina, as it always is when a machine polish it. Anyway, that's enough. I've had enough of this game altogether. At least I haven't got the clear coat coming off at the front, which was what the original problem was. It's the same colour and it doesn't look any dissimilar from the rest of the car now. Bit of a drip there. Not much of a one so I sanded it down and a few spots here. But I'm not ever going to do that again. Well, not until the summer, I think. If it's nice and sunny, I might have another go at doing something. But no, nah, at least I can see all the reflections of the trees in it again, which I couldn't before. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, or well, don't copy what I did, for goodness sake, because I made a complete pig's ear of it. But looking back through the video, I could have saved it at any point. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, put the thumbs up. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. I'm sure I'll get some awful comments about this, I'm afraid. Yeah, it was a complete mess. And I agree, yeah. Yeah, it's no good. Not worth telling me I did it all wrong. I know I did it all wrong because of the results. Anyway, it's all looking okay now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.